Всем привет. Hello, dears. Are you afraid to drive the car back? Then lesson for you. Watch the first exercise. I give the task to the student to pass the narrow gate. Note that the front of the car drove through a bottleneck. But the rear of the car touches the limiter. We must pass the narrow gate. But first, our mirrors must not touch the limiters. You have steering. You have hands. Here and work. Drive a car. Achieve the goal. The mirror must pass through the bottleneck. But then it will be the most important thing. Many do not even guess. When the mirrors have passed the bottleneck, you have to make the steering wheel straight. Wheel to put right. Make the steering wheel straight. If the car is going to the side, then turn the steering wheel exactly one turn. Not half turn. Not part of the turnover. And exactly one turn of the steering. If the steering wheel is in this position, the wheels can be in a straight position. However can be rotated. But you need to move strictly straight. You can't turn the steering wheel. Until, until. The rear wheels will not pass the narrow gate. Until the rear wheels pass the limiters. This is fundamentally important. It doesn't matter that you have an obstacle ahead of you. It is necessary to force yourself to move strictly straight. But when the rear wheels cross the line of the gate, then twist the steering wheel. Limiters do not pose any danger to you. The question immediately arises. The rear of the car will not touch the limiter. If we unscrew the steering wheel at a time when the rear of the car has not yet passed the gate, no, nothing. If the rear wheels have passed the gate, it does not matter that the car has not yet completely left. Why? This is shown in this lesson. Look at the top right corner of the screen. Also the link will be at the end of the video, and will below. It is very important for us that the rear wheels pass the obstacle, and we kept the wheel straight at the moment. When the rear wheels have passed the racks, the racks are not dangerous. It does not matter that the tail of the car is in the gate. But trucks and ancient cars have their own characteristics. The fact that the car designer did not think about this problem before. Now all modern cars have a special form of the back of the car. Just to solve this very problem. That the car had more opportunities for maneuvering in the limited space. But if we started talking about reversing, let's try this exercise to drive in reverse. This exercise is very difficult. One rack will be removed. This is the next time we put this rack. First, drive through the limiter's front course. At the exit, do not turn the steering wheel, move straight. You have to drive 20 or 30 yards. Now let's move back. We need to get to the gate. Look in both mirrors. In the right mirror and the left mirror we should see the same rack. Racks should be at the same distance from our car. We speak to ourselves, it is necessary to drive closer to this rack the steering wheel in her direction. If you stand close, the steering wheel to turn from it to the other side. We do the same with the second mirror. Turn to the counter. Now turn the other way. Keep the steering wheel in the control points. Fingers grope spokes. That's significant. After all, you cannot look at the wheel. But it is easy to put the front wheels in a straight position. When you have the same distance on the right and left, Place your hands strictly straight. The steering wheel and wheels will be in a straight position. These actions will be successful only until the mirrors reach the limiters. Further there is no guarantee that the mirror will safely pass by the stands and not hurt them. Mirrors are the most extreme points of the car. And they can drop any rack.
When the mirrors are 10 inches from the racks, stop. Assess whether the mirror touches any rack, if this is the case, decisive action must be taken. The steering wheel will have to significantly twist, most likely, on the whole turn. But where? This is not the way we were taught in the last lesson. Remember how we moved along the curb? Turn the steering wheel towards the curb. Turn the steering wheel away from him. Mirrors are in front of the car. And the front of the car lives by other laws. If you need to move the front of the car there, then the steering wheel should be in the other direction. Repeat once again. When you think about the back of the car, it's simple. Where should you turn it? Point the finger. Turn the wheel. All the same. And the front of the car behaves differently. Where do you want to move it? Point the finger. Then turn the steering wheel the other way. Remember? You have two options. You can remember all that. Or wrong, but to correct the error. Also a good option. Turn the steering wheel where you see fit. And make a 1-2 inch move. If it gets worse, then turn the steering wheel in the other direction. After two weeks of constant training you will not be confused where to turn the steering wheel. When the mirrors have passed a narrow space, then you have to move strictly straight. Put the wheels in a straight position. Move strictly straight until the front of the car leaves the narrow gate. Only after that you can turn the steering wheel in any direction. You have to complete three steps. Each of them perform carefully. The first step is to get the back of the car into the gate. You have to drive the car so that the mirrors have the same distance from the car to the racks on the right and left. The second stage the mirror must pass through the gate. You have to do a good job driving at a very low speed. The third stage is to put the front wheels straight. You have to move strictly straight until the car completely leaves the gate. Only now you can actively turn the steering wheel to avoid the next obstacle. Pay attention. You could not wait for the whole car to pass the bottleneck. You could turn the steering wheel in any direction when the rear wheels pass the bottleneck. You cannot be afraid that the rear of the car will touch the limiter. When you move in reverse, the conditions change. The vehicle must fully pass the limiters. Not only the wheels, but the bumper must pass the narrow gate. exercise was shown in previous lessons. We were driving around. There were two gates on our way. Every time we straightened the front wheels when passing the narrow gate. Otherwise, the rear of the car may touch the limiter. We drove a few laps. Now we need to go in reverse. past the turn. Then you have to look in both mirrors. You should see the limiters in the mirrors. The limiters must be at the same distance. 
At this point, the wheel set in the straight position. We have already learned in this tutorial how to drive a bottleneck. You may have to turn the steering wheel to the mirror does not hurt the limiter. After that, be sure to make the wheels straight. If you do not, then your car will touch the limiter. Notice, my hands are holding the control points on the steering wheel. My hands won't let go of the control points. Either way, one hand holds the control point. Hands always control the position of the steering wheel. Hands ready to put the steering wheel in a straight position at any time. Такой способ руления удобен именно для движения задним ходом. Today's lesson will be finished, goodbye, see you next time.